Hey water signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, the Temperance, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Hierophant came out. Um, the Temperance and Hierophant came out in your pre-shuffle as well. So, I'm going to be on down here so you guys can see your message. Uh, first card out will be your situation um, and the status of what you are currently dealing with. So one card for our water sign situation. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog barking. It barks all the time. Okay. So you have the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, that is too many, but we will remember those and see. Okay. So... You have the Five of Swords in Reverse and the Chariot. There's that King of Wands. Their person's energy. The other person's energy bringing to the relationship. The other person's energy. Okay, Six of Pentacles. I hope the glare isn't too bad on these. They're a foil card. Oh. Ten of Wands, a block for the other person, one too many, it's a block for the other person. And Spirit's Advice, Spirit's Advice. Okay. All right, guys. So in your guys' situation, uh, the you guys are moving on from a situation where there was, for one, someone's focus was very passionate. Someone's focus was very passionate. Uh, financial. So the person on this side is going to move away from this connection, is going to leave. They're leaving single. They're out of here. Um, yeah, they're, they're no longer staying in a situation where, um, there's so much just, this is not good. Nobody is winning and nobody was walking away in the past, but now you are moving forward. You are getting out of this connection. Um, yeah, because you got to follow your heart. Um, and this, this is a very heavy energy. You weren't seeing the blessing that the universe was, or you weren't seeing what the universe was trying to show you in the past, but you are seeing it now. The energy that you are bringing to this connection, um, you are turning away from it. You are focusing your passion in a different direction, um, following your heart, no longer staying in a situation where the other person has an imbalance of energy. Uh, they could be working all the time, um, only focusing on their finances. Um, there could be a third party as far as a job goes. I don't see a third party love. I honestly don't. This is career. Like they spend all their time at work. They're worried about money. Um, they're constantly building, you know, for their next uh, opportunity, uh, things like that, because every single one of their cards here are pinnacles. So there was a big imbalance of energy here. Uh, this side was very passionate, um, you know, took action, followed, you know, led the way, um, you know, left everything out on the table to this person. And there wasn't nothing reciprocated. They were too busy, um, focusing their energy on other things in their life. This became very burdensome to this side. Um, they are getting ready to uh, take this weight off their shoulders and move forward a lot lighter, a lot freer, um, because there's just there is no work on this connection, and they're always at work. They're always focusing on their pentacles. They're always focusing on somebody else, something else, um, and it's just become very heavy. 
for you. Um, you want somebody who shares your passions, who wants to, you know, explore the world with you, who wants to learn new things and, and have fun as a relationship. And this person is never there. Um, you're moving or whoever's on this side is coming in and delivering the uh, news to this person. They're no longer holding their tongue. They're coming in swinging that sword and it may be a little harsh water sign. So you might want to watch how you deliver this news because this is just saying shit that you can't take back and it might be a little too harsh. So be cautious with the words you use. Um, but this side is coming in and just uh, maybe letting their passion get the best of them because they're coming in and it, they're going to say some cutting things. Uh, but it has to be said because, because you're moving forward. You're moving on. You want something different. Um, this person's advice from uh, Spirit is the Seven of Pentacles. So um, to plant the seeds of intention, to manifest what it is that you want and let them grow. You don't have to constantly be working on making this a reality. Um, when you can plant them, let them go, let the universe take care of it and walk away. It'll find you when it's time. There's too much focus being s s uh, spent with this and not enough on the relationship. And it's, it's really brought this relationship to the end of its cycle. Um, this is the eight of pentacles. Uh, focusing the outcome of this is focusing on work. Focusing on um, bringing the material into the spiritual. Um, this is clarifying the ten or the ten of pentacles is clarifying that. So this you're coming to the end of the cycle where love is not going to be offered. Um, there, that you're both deciding to go your separate ways and work on your own. Um, Work on manifesting your own uh, new situations. Could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign here. That's the only thing I see. Uh, water signs. So, I mean, you are finally starting to see that you deserve a relationship where there's more love. Because the King of Cups is here as well in the reverse. So, somebody is very emotionally manipulating as well. Um, or they just aren't sure of their feelings. They're very up and down, very roller coaster like, and, and you've had enough, you're walking away or they're walking away. Whoever this person is, is walking away from this and going to focus on bringing love, manifesting love into their life after this family situation ends. So let's get one card for you. That was quick. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. So let's see what that says. All right, so release what doesn't support you. <laughs> a busy life creates static, clear internal and external clutter. Do what matters and release the rest to find peace, grace, and stillness. Simplify your life. Otherwise, it's difficult to hear the voice of the creator. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. On the journey, we often gather things that don't support us. It's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and re relationships that don't bring the best out in you. Keep what works and let go of the rest. Doing what is essential and releasing everything else is one of the fastest ways to align with the tranquil vibration of the spiritual realm. Clear things from your schedule that do not advance your life forward. Even a small amount of cleansing can make an immense difference in your life. So like I said, you're clearing out... In you're ending this relationship because you want to align with somebody who shares your passion, who wants to create and, and explore with you. And, um, that is what you're being called to do at this time. So that is what I have for you for your message, uh, today. I'm not putting a date on these. So when you see them, that is when you're meant to hear them. Um, if you're called to this video, there is surely a message in it somewhere for you. It won't all resonate. Um, due to being a general message. So just take what does, leave what don't, and check me out next time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you can be alerted when all my new videos come out. That way it'll be easier for you to help keep track as well as if you have seen them yet or not. And uh, you can check out my newest ones. So for all those who have subscribed already, thank you so very much for joining me on my journey and allowing me to be a part of yours. God bless.